Okay, so in this tutorial I'll be guiding you through most of the commands that you're gonna need for speedrunning the game. So for starters, you're gonna open up the console and you're gonna type plugin load spd-oe if you, you should see this pop. So if the game crashes after you type plugin load spd-oe, that means spd is already loaded in the game from the auto exec. If if it doesn't, uh, you can add a auto exec and just keep it on. I usually just type the plugin load spd from my config. So, that aside, you're gonna need a exec wait table. If you've watched my how to actually set up the game tutorial, you'll know what a wait table is and how we'll be utilizing it in the runs. So, you need the wait table, you'll need CL show pause one, which is the this right here so this is these are your coordinates we're gonna utilize them during save warping and many uh, setups so you're gonna need that 100% so another thing still show FPS one so what show FPS one is it shows the map that you're on uh, you're, it's optional to use this command, but I'd recommend it since it's useful for save warping. We utilize it to see which map we are, we are on currently. Um, you can use netgraph1, which is this thing right here. So I'd recommend using netgraph1, but again, it's optional. Uh, you're gonna need why is auto jump one? Since we're playing scripted, we we use auto jump and underscore y spt force line the fov one. So you can see how my fov just snapped back a little bit. We use our high fov for um for convenience purposes because it looks better uh, instead of the f uh, seventy or seventy five default fov. I think it was seventy. I'm not entirely entirely sure. But I'd recommend using 90 FOV. But using 90 FOV, you can't use the zoom. But we don't use the zoom either way in our runs. So, after that, you're gonna need save warp binds and save warp aliases. So, what save warping is, is transferring your safe position, health, and state, etc from one map to another by delaying a uh, level change trigger until, until you've loaded the save. In other words, for example, if you save in a certain location on the map, on the current map that you're on right now, and you del delay the level change trigger, instead of the game, the game's gonna get confused and instead of placing you on the next position on the next map where you actually should be, it's gonna teleport you to your previous save that you made on the previous map, but on the next map. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but you'll see how it looks uh, during my other tutorial or my uh, save warping tutorial, which I'll explain again more in depth how save, save warping works. And I'll repeat most of the stuff that I uh, said here. So as for the binds, uh, you first, you need to set up the alias. So alias, wait load, this is your primary. Um, wait 300, load ff, wait 300. So, you're gonna use this command. So, you can copy it. I'll post most of the commands in the description. Uh, if you want to copy them, make it into a config file. If you don't know how to make a config file, just uh, google it on YouTube, there's many tutorials how to make a config file, so I won't bother going through it. So, apply that, and bind me key, so 
I'm gonna say again, you can use any key, whatever you want. You shouldn't use my key since it's player preference. You can use whatever the hell you want. Um, just play around with, with uh, the binds and feel, just get a feel for whatever you find uh, suitable, suitable for yourself. So, you need a wasteland bind, so this bind will activate this command which will delay the level change trigger and load your warp save, which we're gonna bind right now. Uh, load ff. So, sorry, um, save ff. So, this is your save key, you're gonna use this to save in certain positions around the maps and you're gonna activate this which will delay a trigger and load this um, this save and it's gonna teleport you to the same save and obviously you're gonna need another key to load the save in case you wanna back up or fix any issues, placements, positioning etc so this FF, when I say FF or primary warp safe, this is gonna be what I'm gonna be referring to uh, primary warp safe. And another, another uh, weight load alias, weight load 2 this time, weight 300, load SS this time, load um, weight 300. So this is your secondary. And this time with weight load 2. Another key, just weight load 2. This activates this command, and obviously, again, as you can figure it out, save and same thing what I explained with PFF. So, this is my prime, this is my primary save warp key, uh, save warp keys. And this is my secondary server of keys. So, again, primary, secondary. This is what I'm gonna be referring to um, throughout my runs. And you're gonna need a quick save, three quick save, uh, quick save binds. Sorry, just quick binds. Um, so, bind something, save quick find something, load quick, load quick01. So what quick01 does is, for example, pay attention to my cursor. If you, for example, on one of the maps, you're here and you do save quick, you're gonna make have a quick save here. And if you go through the roads, and for example, you do another quick save here, and you say, I want to load back, but you load back with load quick, you're gonna load back here. But if you do use quick01 and you're like, no, I don't want to go back there, you can use quick01, which is gonna send you back here. So this command is really useful for actually backing up or. Um, polishing any mistakes that you've made. Uh, so one other thing, oh yeah, uh, I recommend having a hard save bind. I strongly recommend hard having a hard save bind, but still it's optional. For, for me, K is my hard save, HS is my hard save, and My M key is to load my hard safe. I use this um, in many of my runs. So another thing, you're gonna need a, oh yeah, you're gonna need a quick load bind, sorry, a uh, save load bind. So save quick load quick. So what this does is, it makes safe and it loads the safe immediately, which we're gonna be using to do J clips 
or I'm gonna explain what J-Clip is in a different video and any maneuvering out of bounds so you're gonna need that and you're gonna need a save deletion key I'm just gonna expand my console real quick because you need a really big command so bind for me it's tab save and you're gonna set a uh, extremely long command like so and semicolon reload so what this command does is the game thinks you're making a save but since the name of the save is still long I'm gonna paste the original um, the original length of the command in the description so just copy it and paste it inside your config so, uh, so you won't have any trouble but I will go through save deletion in another video and uh, again you're gonna need what else what else oh yeah so you're gonna need a pause command you're gonna use pause a lot through drones I say a lot since I usually I run this game for a long time now and when I go in runs I, I just usually go on autopilot and I don't pay attention to actually what I do my hands just work then by themselves and but yeah you're gonna need a pause key so make sure to have this command Oops. and you're gonna need a YSPT pause one command so what this command does is after every loading uh, loading zone the game will automatically pause so we're gonna be utilizing this fairly a lot and you're gonna need another bind to disable it for me it's F4 what else you can do is bind toggle uh, key just bind whatever and why just why SPT pause N nothing else I think it switches between 1 and 0 with a single key press but you can choose either do this or this so in runs I'm gonna be referring to to this as keep pause on and this keep pause off so yeah pause on pause off so again you can choose either use two keys or one key and lastly you're gonna need bind uh, any key for me it's mouse 5 to duck spam so apply this command I'll go through this command during the actual tutorial since there's no reason to actually explain it here right now but make sure you have this command on and oh yeah um since we're playing uh, scripted and as i said we're using all bunny hopping you're ne you're gonna need your mouse wheel down should be plus use and your mouse wheel up should be plus use as well and I think that's all of that I need to say about the commands that you're gonna need uh, for the tutorial so I'll be going through s I think basic movement and most of the easy tech that you're gonna need in a couple of separate videos so be sure to expect them like really quick I, I'm usually gonna just upload my tutorial all at once so um, yeah that's all I need to say and I'll see you in the next the next video